A Testament Against the World The Lord's Rebuke Provocation April 25th, 2011 From the Lord, our God and Savior For all those who have ears to hear Thus says the Lord God I dare this people to speak against my servants I call them out that they may bring their hard words against my witnesses. Yes, I will provoke them to anger, that they may come out and speak harshly toward my servants. For they have provoked me to anger, therefore shall I also provoke them, that I may slay them and cut them down, as tares harvested for the fire. Thus says the Lord to all those of the provocation, you shall all surely die. All shall be pierced. As you had pierced me, even as you pierced me now, so shall the multitudes receive of the same. They shall all be pierced and struck through. For you have fought against me. You have hated my name and my Holy One, he who is the glory of my majesty. Therefore I am sending my servants the prophets, against you. They shall prophesy against you viciously. They shall tear at you, tearing you as a lion devours his prey. For I have given them claws, and with them they shall strike, penetrating deep into your flesh. And you shall be torn. Yea, they shall roar in that day, a great multitude of roaring lions. Behold, they shall roar with the breath of the Almighty in their nostrils. And your every pillar shall break, your four walls shall crumble, your every foundation upon which you have highly esteemed yourselves shall buckle. Lo, the weight of your pride shall no more be upheld by your false glory, born of your vanities. It shall all come down collapsing under the weight of the truth, which I shall declare through my witnesses. For strong is the Lord's proclamation against you. For my word is fire, a fire already kindled, and you shall all be made to pass through its flame. Thus says the Lord, your Redeemer. Perk up your ears and listen, for I shall speak and tell you the truth of who I am. I walked these roads with the wicked, with my heart heavy over all this sin, which led God's people astray at all times and in every season. I was destined to die before the foundation of the world, and though I am king, I came to be your slave. Before any of you had entered into your mother's womb, I knew you and loved you. As water spilled upon the ground, so had sin made my people unrecoverable to the Father, unless a sacrifice sufficient to receive you back again was made, a pure and holy sacrifice, greater than any man of the earth could offer. For the sacrifice of God in the flesh was the only means by which you could be reconciled. He having the power to turn back death, the power to break death's hold, which sin had placed upon his people. For your God is holy, your God is just, your God is righteous and pure. Holy, holy, holy is Yahuwah. He laid the rules of righteousness and set the foundations of holiness. Thus I am he, the true salvation of God, Yahushua. Hamashiach. Bow, therefore, and give me glory. Bow, all you wicked, before all creation is made to bow before the king. Thus says the Lord to his servants, Prophesy, my sons, prophesy, O sons of service, for I have purpose for you to anger many. You shall incite them, and the heat of their lividity shall be shown in their faces, and many shall be slain by the words which I shall place in your mouths. Their number is 144,000, my holy elect, 
Who shall subdue entire nations and humble multitudes of people? For my witnesses go wheresoever I lead them, having the seal of the living God upon their foreheads, saying, Holiness to the Lord, and shouting, Make way for the coming of the Lord. Behold, this generation has been made subject to my servants, to their every word. Not one word proceeding from their lips at my commandment shall fall to the ground. Oh yes, they are indeed set above you, all you foolish leaders, all you haughty men in authority. They are set high above all these self-righteous modern Pharisees. To humble, to bring down, and to break, declares the Lord. For I have called to them, I have shouted to them in a loud voice. Yea, my word screams at them, yet their ears remain stopped. They refuse to hear. Behold, I am come forth in my power, and in the strength of my might I shall cause the wicked to hear, and the high-minded to listen. All you wicked and deaf children, you would not come to me for healing. Therefore you, every last one of you, shall be made subject to my word. And you shall hear the voice of the Holy One of Israel when he arises mightily in battle. Behold, the sword of his mouth shall slay you, and you shall cease from before me. You shall be no more. No more shall you dwell before my face forever. And still you ask, but why? Thus says the Lord, If you would have left all your doomed houses, obeying my voice and my command to come out, you would have known why. For I had said, The atheist shall have it far better than you when the wrath of the great and dreadful God has come. For you had sought to lay hold of my throne, O acolytes of Satan. And as you endeavored to ascend above my holy mountain, I stepped down and crushed your wicked climbing. I halted your evil aspirations. I smashed your satanic fingers, O vicars of Christ. You abominable vines, roots of rottenness, I am against you, says the Lord. For you have hated me, returning to me evil for good. You would not kiss the Son as part of the holy convocation, nor would you drink from my cup, nor would you sip the elixir which I had freely offered for your cleansing, by which the remnants of Eve and Adam's error was to be purged. Even of all your sins, whereby you do continually sin against the Lord your God, and pollute my name, and spit upon the glory of my majesty. You have covered me in the kisses of Judas, evil workers, ravenous wolves. Therefore I am come down, and I shall surely put an end to all of Satan's work, for it was all for naught. Thus I have declared it, and I am he who shall also do it, says the Lord. My sons, they do not love me. They have no love for God in their hearts. Though their words are full of praise, and they speak many high and lofty words, with many prepared speeches, I tell you the truth, they do not love me. Therefore, let them take their flatteries and all their filthy pretense and wipe their own rear ends. For they are not my children, neither do I know them. And due to the multitude of their foolish and contemptible acts, and because of this great measure of insolence I have found within them, are they left alone in the wilderness, far removed from their God, abandoned in these desolate lands. Yet I have reserved to myself a remnant, a precious remnant, who shall be hidden from this world, though they remain in the midst of it. 
They shall be sheltered from all this hissy, from all these murderous aspirations brought forth against my elect, and they shall learn holiness for a time and times and half a time, while the world and all who remain in it run quickly toward their destruction. Yet all those who continually profess in their pride to be the true remnant church shall surely come to know the meaning of the word. For they have adorned themselves as queens, high and lofty, in their extravagant churches. Therefore, thus says the Lord, They shall all be as widows. I shall divide them as spoils. I shall serve them strong correction and purge their numbers. I will discipline them harshly and send many of them to die in that day. Then shall they know, I am the Lord, and truly I have made of them a remnant. Yet even now there is indeed a small number among them, who I do know, and in whom I see of myself. These shall come to me, so I may receive them, for my love had been completed in them before the time. For most assuredly I say unto you, if I had not shortened these days, no flesh would be saved, says the Lord.